Well, good afternoon, everybody, mums and dads, boys and girls. I always have to blabber on, that's what I call it, for a couple of minutes here uh, so that the notifications go out. We have another treat for you. See, that's my pun. You like my pun? Treat, treat. We're going to have treat. Anyway, we're going to actually, uh, the owner of Beans Cafe and Bakery, the cafe is just down the road, actually. They're closed on Sundays, uh, but they agreed for us to come here. And I want to continue my actual junior baking class okay is a series of four lessons over four weeks I did one lesson and I'm sort of doing a crash course okay so this will be halfway through my my course all right so kids get your questions ready you know what we're going to do he told me we're going to learn how to make well yesterday we did bread in a bag so that kids can do it we had a nine-year-old and a ten-year-old did that and we have the same nine-year-old and ten-year-old and they're going to do pizza dough in a bag. Want to make pizza dough in a bag? Okay. Uh, that, 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 that would um, keep you busy while, while you're at home, locked away from society. Okay, here we go. All right, we're going to go inside here. And... Oh, hi, oh. Ken. No, you tripped over the door this time. All right, All right. you have a nice yeah, trip? Yeah. <laughs> Good, welcome back. So, thank you. Oh, do I need a hair net again? You oh, sure here. do. Okay. All right. Do I... It takes off 10 years. So... <laughs> Look at that. They come like that. There's, there I am. My, the hairnet. Okay. I should sell I'm this I'm getting on, to be good at that. You, you know, know I could sell this on eBay. Hairnet worn by Ken Ham. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll so, put it on the eBay. Okay. This is going to be my next class for my junior baking class, right? Okay. Because you have a junior baker's yep. class here. Yeah. This is your second. And this is my second. So S then I've got two more to do when I graduate, right? Two more to do. Okay. So we'll come in here and you're going to take us into... I'll take um, you back into the classroom. Let's into see. The classroom. Uh, so they oh, actually look, had, we have the same three people yeah, as yeah, yesterday. The same, yeah, the same nice. people. Look at that. Hey, by the way, um, if you have questions, I'm not going to. Now, I want you to ask as many questions as you can. Yeah. Uh, that's what I want, want the kids to do. Ask questions about this as we go along. But because we get involved in the recipe and that, I can't sort of answer them all as we go along because you need to explain the recipe and how we're doing it. So here's what we decided to do. One of the bakers here is going to be monitoring all the questions and answering your, your questions for yes. you. So there you are. You get all your questions answered, so ask them as, as you go along. Don't ask them how good a baker I am, because he knows that I'm expert, right? So <laughs> Expert all right, level. All right, so here we have uh, Sadie. Do I remember that correct? Yeah. Okay, and Asha. Remember that yes. correct? And this is Laura. Okay, yes. with her nice beans, to see you again. cafe, and bakery cap. Okay, so what are we gonna what are we gonna make? To, tell me what we're gonna make today. Pizza dough. Pizza dough. Pizza dough in a bag. Yeah. No okay. Yeast. Pizza dough in a bag. No yeast. No yeast okay. Let's get a close up of that. No yeast pizza dough in a bag. No yeast. Does that mean no taste? No, it tastes yummy. Oh, it tastes yummy. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So, how did you think I did last time? I, I was watching, but. I remember to make bread, you put flour and sugar and salt and yeast and and butter, melted butter, and you do it in a special way. And we had to do it in the last one. They can go back and watch the last one how we did that. Uh, the last uh, Facebook Live three o'clock on Saturday, we did that. So. Turned it really good, didn't it? It did turn out good. It was very That's tasty. nice bread. That's yeah. sweet bread. Yeah. Yeah. That's better than what you buy down the supermarkets. Sure. And you can make it in a bag. You can make it at home. Make and we were going to call it slimy clay bread, but you said that wouldn't be a good name. <laughs> said no I remember way. that. All right, so what are we going to do today? So um, We're going to do two cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, we've got, got our bag. This right is Right here in our Ziploc bag, just like Ziploc, last time. Ziploc bag. A gallon, is, is that a gallon Ziploc it bag? It is a gallon Ziploc okay. bag. Okay. Do you want me to scoop it, or do you so, want, to, want me to hold the bag? I'll hold it. So, Ashley, do you need help counting to two? <laughs> no? Okay. No. All right. Good. At your age, I think I did. Um... Okay, so here Try we go. to level it out. This is going to be pizza dough. It is. The kids, kids must love pizza dough, do they? They do. Okay. And right. then we need one tablespoon of baking powder. You're going to use three of these because this is a teaspoon. There's three okay. teaspoons in the okay. teaspoon. Okay, so one tablespoon of baking powder. Yep. One. Well, these make up one tablespoon. Yes, so three teaspoons make one tablespoon. I learned something. I didn't know that. Three teaspoons make one tablespoon. Did you know that? Uh, 
I think so. Okay. okay. All right. Good. Then we just need a pinch of salt. A pinch. Pretty big pinch. Do you want a child's pinch or a? Mm -hmm. Let's, let's try this a tiny bit more. Oh, yeah. that, that's a like a pinch. That's a, that's a like mama a, pinch. That's like a handful. <laughs> that, that was a. And then we need one cup, which you can use this cup here, of milk. Oh. Everything gets put in the bag. So you don't put yeast in this. There's no yeast. Nope. But milk goes in this one. And no butter yeah. in this one? No butter in no this one. No butter in this one? Well, the butter comes later. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Excellent. Go. Steady hand. Great. Now we're going to press out all the air oh, again. Here we go. Here it is. Pizza dough in a bag. And now you... And then close, seal up your bag. And then knead it around till it's mixed up real good. And while she's doing that, we'll go ahead and put some flour down. Because we're going to drop it right into a, a ball of flour. So let's put a bunch here. Okay. How's it coming? So the mixing, how long do you mix it for, Laura? Um, about a minute. About a minute. Okay. Just till it's... Okay, just if you've got any questions as we go along, ask the questions. We'll have one of the bakers answer you there. I'll monitor the, the questions for us because we need to be um, watching carefully here to make sure we get this right. This got to get this recipe exactly right. Okay. All right. Many hands make light work. So... What do you think? This dough is going to be wet. It's going to be real sticky because it pulls the flour into the dough to make it more it looks, dry. It looks sticky. It is very sticky. Mm. Look at that. And we just dump it out like you we did what? last time. It would be great for kids. Instead of playing in the mud pile outside, they can be <laughs> making sticky pizza dough. It's like slime you can eat. Like slime you can eat, yes. Without seeing the doctor. Slimy pizza dough. What do you think? We go back to our slimy word again? I think so. Yeah, okay. Put some flour on your hands. All right. Yeah. That helps out. There we go. We're well, going to try and roll sticks, this into a ball. Sticks all over their fingers. Yeah. We don't okay. really need this too much. You just roll it into a ball. Okay, not like the bread we had to knead for, what, three minutes, wasn't it? Yes. This and one's kind of... And then another minute to roll We don't roll really it. have to knead it, Sadie. We just kind of... Make it a ball, and then we're going to roll it with our rolling pin. And we're going to put some flour on the rolling pin, just from here. It's fine. And just rub it, just so it don't stick to the dough. Say, do you want to give it a whirl? It should be about a quarter of an inch thick. So maybe the tip of your finger of a little, little one. Okay. Sadie, show your Let finger. Let me measure it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. We'll pull it closer. Just keep on rolling. Yep. Keep on rolling. It's going to puff up in the oven. Oh, really? Yeah. Even though there's no yeast in it, it still puffs up. It oh, does. Is that because of the baking the, powder? Yeah, the baking powder and salt. See, I'll, I'm, you can tell I'm getting really good at this. Until I understand. I could start up my own Put business. Actually, you know what? I think I'll let Richard right. keep the business. Yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll, get you, we'll get you teaching the next class. We'll just give you the recipe and let you go. Uh, yeah, okay. So now that our dough is ready. All right. Now that the dough is ready, we're going to spray the <laughs> pan. The <laughs> yeah, this is called a microphone. Did you know this is a microphone? Yes, we'll get it. Okay, all right. And now we're going to spray the pan and put our dough on there, and we're going to put our sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. There it is. One okay. pan. There's the pan. We're gonna grab and you got, what is this in the pan? Thank you, Asher. That's a parchment paper. Parchment paper, uh -huh. which is like it's uh, greasy paper. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know what you call it. What do you call that stuff? It's just uh, like a wax paper. Wax paper. And yeah. we're going to put, we're going to spray it real good. So spray with pan spray. Yep. Yeah, this is non-stick pan spray. You can get it at your grocery store. If there's any left on or the shelves. In, yeah, yeah. Or in your mom's pantry. If well, she lets you. Yeah. Well, they could find something else, I'm sure. You could, you could use olive oil. Spray on olive oil. Yeah. yeah. Anything to help it not stick to the yeah. paper. That's, I know my wife has spray on olive oil. All right. Now we're going to let the kids just 
put the sauce and stuff on. So they could shape this in. We're going to let the kids put the sauce and stuff on. Okay, good. So we could sh they could shape it into something, too, if they wanted to, couldn't they? Yeah, they could cut it into a circle. They could cut it into a circle or a letter, whatever they would like. Okay, here we go. So, put the sauce on. so what is this? Oh, this is pizza sauce? Yes. How much? Just a little more. Okay, that's good. Oops. Okay. Take your spoon. So, a pizza sauce, and then you spread it around. around. There try, we to, are. try to stay about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. A quarter of an inch away from the edge. All right, here we go. You could add a little more if you needed to. How much more? Just a little. So, he's going to become the, the senior baker the way he's going. <laughs> yep, he's doing a good job. Instead of just the junior baker. All right. That looks really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then cheese. What sort of cheese is that? Mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella, che mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella ah, cheese. Okay. Mozzarella cheese. It's a nice pizza, pizza cheese. It's a nice pizza cheese. It's good. I love cheese, actually. And then, what are these horrible little things? Pepperoni. <laughs> pepperoni? Why do Americans like pepperoni? I don't get that. What, what is pepperoni it? on your pizza. What do you like on your pizza? Oh, I like, like ground beef and bacon. And okay. Ham? And ham and pineapple. Yep. Ham and pineapple. That's ham a, and pineapple. That, that's no, the a, Hawaiian. That's an Australian one. Yeah. Hawaii, yeah. The Hawaiian. Ham and pineapple pizza. Okay. All right. All right. That looks great. Okay, so, so now what? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, now six. Now we're going to put it in the oven at 425 for 10 minutes. At the oven? Yep. For at, at what right. temperature was that? It was at 425. 425. The bread was 375. That's correct. I remember that. Yep. 425 for this one. All right. And I got a feeling that you probably knew I was coming. You know what? We set something up. Just for you. Come oh, on over okay. here. Let me show you what okay. we have. Okay. So we're going to wait for that to cook for a moment. We're going to, yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to let that be. And uh, okay. what do you think's inside that? You know, it's a pretty good sized box, well, isn't it? Well, it's not one of your famous, famous, massive. Very famous, massive Texan, Texan donut with maple oh, icing. Oh, maple. I love, you know what? See, they have, beans make this donut that has maple icing hmm. it, and it's my favorite donut. It's a good and mixture. Normally the donut is more this size, but uh, this is the Texan, the Texan That's donut the Texan with maple, maple icing, or what do you call that? Yep, it's a maple icing. Maple icing yep, on top. sure is. Wow. So can I cut a little piece? Yep, can you I sure can. So while we wait for this pizza dough to get ready. All right, here we go. Um, okay. All right. The Texan donut. There it is. Texan donut. What a size of that thing. <laughs> One slice is like an ordinary donut. One slice is about an ordinary donut. You make such good donuts. You make them right here, don't you? Yes, we sure do. Make them right here in the in the factory. The bakery. I love that. And we got it we oh. we brought a nice latte to wash it all down with. I love the coffee you use too. What, what sort of coffee is that? It's a caribou brand. Mm -hmm. It's a very good, very good product. I love coffee. Coffee and donuts. Okay, it was worth coming just for this. <laughs> yep, worth coming just for this. We need to make another one so I can have more. <laughs> you think so? So, um, why don't you tell them where they can get the recipe? While okay. I'm this. And yes. Tell them about the junior maker course. So over here we have a recipe where you can find that pizza recipe that we just made and also you can sign up for the Junior Bakers class and that's at beanscafeandbakery.com and slash recipe for recipes or slash junior baker for the class. And they're held um, every month. It's a four week class and you learn how to make things like this, breads and pizza doughs and donuts and and cupcakes and cookies, Rice Krispie squares. We've made a large number of things. Gingerbread house we made at Christmas. We made pumpkin pie. So you never know what you're gonna get, but you're gonna get donuts for sure, and you're gonna get cookies for sure, 
And other than that, we'll sprinkle it in depending on the so, season. So you don't think I'm ready to graduate right now? I think you need two more classes because okay. this is your second one. You've okay. got to get four to get the badge. All right. Well, I'm trying to think back. Now, yesterday um, and Saturday, 3 o'clock, we showed them how to make bread in a bag. And I remember what was in it. It was flour. I think you put one in first, and then you did something, and then you added something, and it was easy. One cup first. One cup first. You put it in a bag, and anyway, and uh, get it all slimy. Mm -hmm. I remember that. I remember the slimy bit. Yeah. See, that's what we boys remember, don't we? Slimy bit. And today we did the pizza dough. We did pizza dough, and uh, I think it's already now, baked. Every time you, every time you finish. The pizza dough, do you always have a latte and a Texan donut? <laughs> that's the best that's way. In, that's that's the best a new way. tradition? Yep. yep. Okay. All right. We'll sure do that. Is. All right. So uh, it's done? I think we'll check okay. it. Let's, uh, let's get Laura to take a look. So that was a quick how long? How many minutes? Quick 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes in the All oven. Right. Don't forget your gloves. Yep. Got to remember your gloves. There we are. So uh, now, are you kids going to sample this? Probably. Probably? I would think you would. There it is. That, it's all, it looks like, sort of looks like a pizza, but it's not the same as a pizza, but it is a pizza. It is a pizza. Mm -hmm. Yep, it sure is. It's a pizza dough pizza. Pizza tonight. It's kids' night. It's kids' night. This is a kids' pizza. It's a kids' pizza. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, look. There are nine. There are nine. Nine on that. They must have left it too long in there. You must have. You know? <laughs> The, the, uh, the, the pepper expansion. The pepperoni yeah. Yeah. gave birth to two more pepperoni. I, I guess it did. <laughs> you know? That's a good way to go. I wish, uh, I wish that would happen every time I put something in the oven. Yeah, it just makes it more. Isn't that yeah. amazing how that can Let's happen? try that with ribeyes next yeah. time. It must have been because it was a quick 10 minutes. It was a quick 10 minutes. And because know? I called you ahead of time and told you. Yeah, we, and that, we had to get ahead of it a little bit yeah, we did. for the sake of time. Hey, Richard, thank you. We're going to come back. Um, we're hoping Thursday night. Um, would you open up your bakery here for us? Yeah, I sure would. We'll do, we'll do a live program right from here, and you can show us how out there you make those. We'll do donut holes. Donut holes. How to make donut holes. Yep. Okay. Yep. And do we then have a competition to see how many you and I could eat in 10 minutes? Well, I don't know. You know, that's a lot of gym time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. And again, just want to tell everyone, we need to be praying for our culture, praying for our yep. nations, not just our nation, around the world. and. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's happening right now, which is hurting a lot of people, hurting yeah. a lot of families, yeah. hurting a lot of businesses. Yeah. And uh, pray for us at Anson Genesis, too, in yeah. the Arkham County, the Creation Museum. Yeah. We want to get them open to the public as soon as we're allowed uh, to be able to do that. Yeah. And uh, thank you for the latte. You're very welcome. And for the Texan donut, yeah. the maple one. Okay, go to, go to Beans Cafe at Dry Ridge and get a maple get donut. Get a maple donut. And say, mm -hmm. say Ken Ham sent you, and yeah. they'll probably say, who's he? Who's that guy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Richard. Thanks very much. Are we... Uh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, don't forget, if you want your questions answered... Oh, I tell you what, I'll do the same thing as we did on the last one. If you take a photograph and send it to us at Answers in Genesis with your name and address, and if it looks good, mm -hmm. uh, I'll send them something from the museum or the right. uh, some little thing, just for fun. Okay. All right. Have Sounds a good. good. Day. Thank you.